Hey everybody, it's Northwest Manitou again, or NW Manitou. I want to show you the tools that I like to carry when I am backpacking, camping, dirt time, survival, whatever. Again, as I said with the kit, uh, the people, the tools and the preferences that people like, they're just as varied as the people that carry them. It's just personal preference. So, this guy right here, uh, again, forgive me for throwing out brand names, I don't mean to. Um, this is a Swamp Rat, made by Swamp Rat Knives, is their camp tramp. Um, I did some research and bought it because it looked like it was really sturdy, it was affordable at the time. And I really enjoyed it. Hopefully you can see it real nice. Seven and a half inch blade, it's got like a rubberized handle that's great because my hands are really clammy a lot, so this helps me uh, keep a good grip on it. I've been able to whittle uh, figure four traps out of chopsticks with this thing that have held up cinder block. I've also used it to butcher out a 2200 pound steer, I've butchered out elk and deer with it. I have processed fish, I've batoned it through wood. Um, this is just a great all around knife. I love the fact that it's got a flat grind mostly from the spine all the way to the convex edge. Um, it's not as fine as you can get with a you know perfectly you know flat, it's called a scandy grind, but it's hair popping sharp, it holds great edge, and it's really nice and utilitarian. I really, really enjoy this knife and I carry it with me all the time. The way I use the lanyards, and there's a little bit of elk ivory there on the end of the lanyard put my thumb through it, wrap my hand around it, and that prevents my hand from slipping forward or backwards. Yet, if I need to dump it, and rather than having a lanyard around my wrist, which would just you know rotate the knife back into my body should I lose my grip on it, I can just let it go and it'll fly off and stick in the dirt or whatever. Of course, you know, a nifty little pouch. I might replace it with a leather one later. Um, this is just some curiosities for people that might be interested. Inside here, I carry a, another little mini survival kit. If you saw my little videos, you know that I'm real big on redundancy of, of gear. Keep this open. I live in the desert, so I'm very paranoid about water. I grew up in the Northwest, which is you know why I have the I use the handle NW Manitou. And up there, water wasn't a problem. Out here, man, it's it's dry. <laughs> so I've got a little you know collapsible one liter bag that has a little you know uh, seal on the top of it, and it's again so I can collect water. If I find myself stranded in the desert and I happen to come across a little oasis or a, you know a pot in the sandstone that's got water or something I'm going to drink my fill, I'm going to fill this up and hopefully walk out of there if I don't have any other choice. Um, in this little bag I've got uh, a Light My Fire uh, Army model. Love, I love ferro rods, they're my favorite way of making fire. I actually modified the scraper, I used my Dremel to cut it like a half moon you can kind of see a little concave I feel that makes better sparks. Um, on this little bundle that was in there with it, I have a little miniature knife steel uh, from Victor Knox. This is great for touching up edges. Again, it's almost all I ever need with this knife. Even after I butchered that cow and chopped through wit ribs, a couple of strops on this and it was hair shaving sharp again. Um, <coughs> I've also got a miniature fishing kit. I know, I know, laugh at me. It's kind of hard to see but it's inside of a drinking straw. It's like three or four hooks and about 20 feet of, pair of a spider wire. And I fit it, I took a drinking straw and I pinched it between some pliers and I melted it and then I shoved that, all that stuff in there, melted the other end. Reason so I have a means of maybe catching some fish. I got a big wad of jute. This is what I use for tinder for my striker. I cut about an inch off, fluff it up, and it lights like a match. And sometimes it's nice to have a saw. These little doohickeys are great. It's like a sawzall with some, a kydex handle. It just kind of folds out. Cuts through bone, wood, metal. It's just... If you go to survival.com with Ron Hood and all of them, he's, you know, he's awesome. I got all his videos and learned a ton of stuff from him. You can pick them up from his little store. They're not very expensive. But, um, anyway, a little shout out.